hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to bind data from my SQL PHP my admin database into HTML table and here we got the final results notice the employee table is binded into this HTML table from my SQL PHP my admin database this is the employee table is binded into an HTML table. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET web application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is Find data HTML table my SQL click OK and from the templates I'm selecting empty template click OK and here the project is successfully created let's open the solution explorer now in this project I'm adding one new web form page right click the project name add new item I'm selecting web form the web form name is bind data HTML add and here we have the source page of the newly created bind data HTML dot ASPX page now between form and due tag I'm adding one center tag H1 how to bind records from my SQL PHP my admin database into HTML table horizontal line after the h1 header tag and the horizontal line I'm adding one panel control open toolbox here is a panel control I'm adding the one that's it up to now we have done the designing part now right click the mouse go to view code the first thing in this code behind I am adding the namespaces using system dot data using system dot configuration and the last namespace I want to add mysql.data.dll library but in Visual Studio mysql.data.dll library is not available in our project references folder so let's open solution explorer expand the references folder notice there is no any mysql.data.dll library let's add that library in this references folder right click the references manage nested packages click that one select browse and search for mysql enter and from the search results the top one is mysql.data select that one and install ok I am accepting the license I accept and here we got the message successfully installed mysql.data the version is 8.0.13 to in our project let's open this output message window switch to the code behind let's check in the solution explorer notice here the mysql.data is added in our project references folder let's add this namespace in our project using mysql.data.mysql client 
once we add this namespace now we can able to access the mysql or php my admin database after adding these three namespaces now my next step is let's add the connection string in the web.config file open solution explorer let's minimize this references folder the last one web.config file open that one now in the web.config file inside the configuration i am adding connection strings add name is equals to mysql connection is the connection string name connection string data source is equals to localhost the second parameter is the port number to find out the port number of mysql php my admin let's visit the php my admin database and notice in the php my admin the server my sql 3306 is a port number let's add that port number 3306 the next parameter is the initial catalog and In initial catalog we have to add the database name our database name is a sample db let's add that one sample db user id which is root the default one password the password i'm leaving blank because i don't have password to log into my php my admin database if you have any password please enter that one and the last parameter is very important ssl mode is equals to none if you don't add this ssl mode is equals to none in the connection string it'll face an error at runtime so after adding the connection string in the web.config file let's switch to the code behind let's start the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes i am adding my sql connection string name which is my sql connection copy this one paste here dot connection string my sql connection my sql con is equals to new my sql connection i am adding the object main con string string sql query is equals to here the sql query is a select statement select start from the table name is the employee table my sql command sql com is equals to new my sql command which takes two parameters the first one is a command text sql query let's add that one the second parameter is a my sql connection object the my sql connection object is a my sql con copy this one and pasting here let's open the connection string dot open method my sql data adapter sda is equals to new my sql data adapter i am adding sql command object data table dt is equals to new data table and filling the data as here dot fill method with the data table object dt after adding the data object into the fill method now the last final one need to bind the data the employee table into html table so i'm using string builder class so we need to add the namespace here using system dot text string builder sb is equals to new string builder a 
sb dot append method now between these double quotes i am adding the html elements the html elements is a table here sb dot append method between double quotes tr i'm closing the tr sb dot append method I am closing the tr sb dot append method. I am closing the table tag. Let's add the border is equals to one. Now between this tr, I am adding the table headers. For that, I am using for each loop, for each data row column data column dc in dt dot columns sb dot append method between double quotes th which is a table header let's copy this one let's close this table header tag sb dot append method dc dot column name dot to string method now after adding the data columns and table headers to a table now i am adding the data rows for each loop data row dr in dt dot rows property now in this data rows i am adding the columns instead of adding the code i am just copying this part i am adding here so here data row object dc dot column dot to string that's it we have binded the data into this table but I want to add this table into the panel control so after the table control I'm adding panel 1 which is a panel control ID dot controls dot add now I am adding the child controls into this panel control new label I am adding the property of the label text is equals to sb dot to string method now the last final step is let's close the connection string sql con dot close method that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final results notice the employee table is binded into this html table from my sql php my admin database this is the employee table is binded into an html table that's it